I like World of Warcraft. I play Burning Crusade. It's very nostalgic. It's a pretty good game. Unfortunately, Blizzard as a company is worthless dog shit. And before we even get into the accusations, we'll just talk about the fact that Blizzard is basically... We talk about pump and dump scams all the time. Activision is basically kind of like a pump and dump scam, but in a different way, right? So what happens is you have a very successful company that used to love their audience. They would like work on games for 10 years and they would trash them if they didn't feel like they were at the quality that they should be. And they turned it into uh, a company that makes mobile games for people who love PC and then think like, yeah, you should love our new fucking mobile Diablo. You'll you like Diablo. You Oh, you'll love it when we shit on your dreams. And it's like, I get it. People in China like to play more mobile games. A lot of times because they, they drive the train. So it makes sense to do like a mobile port for Diablo games or even an independent Diablo game. But probably not the new Diablo is a fucking mobile game. This is my point. What you have, what ends up happening is you have these companies that are perform really well. They love their audience and they've, they've created a legacy and they sell themselves to the highest bidder. And then the people, those people, Activision, pick them up and then they just start cutting out people in the middle they just start cutting people as much as they can to basically run at maintenance mode and then what happens when you have a game like world of warcraft especially a lot of these online games require actual literal maintenance especially mmorpgs and then there you go what ends up happening oh you know it starts to get worse and it doesn't happen immediately it takes a little bit of time right you run at maintenance mode things get a little off at first maybe you have like slower um you know messages from quality control whatnot you know whatever um and then uh, you just start to see it crash. And we've seen this through World of Warcraft. The expansions suck. The game's shit. And you know what? Activision can suck my balls. However, Activision Blizzard falls amid accusations of frat boy culture. So who would have expected that a company that didn't care about its people, that, that, that its customers, wouldn't care about its employees as well? That's crazy. All right. So shares of video game maker Activision were falling Thursday following a report that the company's culture was responsible for its mishandling of its production of its most popular game. Uh, the company was was served oh, served with a lawsuit from the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing. Allegedly, the company's pervasive frat boy workplace culture resulted in females employees being sexual uh, subjected to sexual harassment and being paid less than men. Now, listen, I just want you guys to understand something because I know a lot of you guys are going to cry. Oh, feminism sucks. Video games in general, online communities, and people who consume them are generally regressive. You can hate me if you want, but you've all been in Call of Duty lobbies, and you know how toxic people can be. And so this is just the way that war the world is, all right? People who play games are usually assholes, especially people in, like, like, gamers. Like, there are people who play games, and then there are gamers, right? There are people who like to play, like, have fun, and then there are people who like to call people the N-word on the internet, right? Those are two separate categories. And generally, the people who like to be toxic, worthless piles of shit are the ones that like to really ingrain themselves in games to the point where they want to work for games. And so it doesn't surprise me that you have a bunch of fucking incels working for a company being a bunch of dickheads to women. It doesn't surprise me. Okay? It doesn't surprise me at all. And you know what? <coughs> you need a strong manage a manager to tell people to knock the shit off. But of course, you got probably have a manager who's a weak-willed little incel pussy, and he doesn't be like, yo, he doesn't say like, hey, you need to act more professionally. Just because this is a video game company doesn't mean that it's a child's company. This is an adult thing now. Video games are an adult thing. They are. And like we used to consider them childish, so nobody cared. But they're an adult thing, okay? Um and so I wouldn't doubt if they paid women less than men. Now, I don't know specifically, but I wouldn't doubt that at all. So Activision shares fell uh, from $1.40 or 1.5% to 89.77. Oh, they fell $1.40. <clears throat> That's fine. I mean, I have some shares in Activision, but you know what? Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Um, the state lawsuit alleges that the company executives and human resources department knew of the harassment and failed to stake, take steps to rectify the issues, which means that there were people for a long period of time reporting that they were being harassed women specifically reporting that they were being harassed i wouldn't doubt if gay people were getting harassed either or honestly minorities uh, or whatever marginalized groups i don't know what the people of color what are you supposed to say now i don't fucking know i wouldn't doubt it at all and one of the shittiest things is that i've worked for a company where nobody gave a fuck about me okay i had my like i had my my benefits removed from me even though i had a union it's really a very frustrating and isolating feeling when the entire department that exists to support you which is hr and potentially a union in my case doesn't give a singular fuck about you and it really sucks because people have to work and so you have these people who may have actually joined the company because they loved video games be being treated like shit and there's nothing they can do about it so they just get treated like shit 
and nobody cares. Finally, though, thank God somebody finally did something about it, because this is terrible. Women working for the World of Warcraft scene said male employees would hit on them, make derogatory comments about rape, and otherwise engaging in demeaning behavior, Variety reports. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Now, you could say, like, oh, well, the hitting on thing is, it's not that inappropriate. And maybe, based on context, hitting on somebody, like, asking somebody out to dinner in a workplace environment isn't inappropriate. But since we know, honestly, that a lot of these gamers are losers... I wouldn't doubt it if it was like really creepy hitting on them or just like constantly, like incessantly hitting on them, especially when you add the rape comments and otherwise engage in demeaning behavior. I don't doubt it. Okay. We value diversity and strive to foster a workplace that offers inclusivity for everybody. You clearly don't. There is no place in our company or industry or any industry for sexual misconduct or harassment of any kind. So fire the fuck out of your management. The problem is, is that they're not going to be able to get more people to hot, work for them because you want to know one of the reasons why they have such clearly shitty employees working for Blizzard and Activision, which, by the way, it may not be all of them. It might be just like a minority of them, like some people. The reason is because you have such a worthless fucking workplace culture that nobody good wants to work for your company. This is what happens when you just completely flay the skin off of your, your production companies. You used to have really good people working, really good employees. And I'm not surprised about this, though, because Riot Games, the people who made League of Legends, had a similar like accusations a while ago, maybe a couple of years ago. Blizzard Entertainment fumbled the production of the remake of World of Warcraft 3 game. Oh, they totally did, dude. They basically, you know what they did with Warcraft 3 Remake? You know what they did? They, they cloned the game with better graphics, then cut support for the original Warcraft 3, which would have been fine, until you find out that they cut, they... They actually added more limitations to the game that didn't originally exist in Warcraft 3. So they made you rebuy the original game, and then they made it worse. Which is one of the most popular games in the world due to mismanagement and financial uh, pressures, according to the Bloomberg report. Warcraft 3 Reforged was widely criticized when it was reached for being buggy and not updated enough to warrant a re-release. True. They didn't even add any new features. Uh, the company eventually ended up offering customers no questions asked refunds for the games based on their, their Bosch product. I should have taken that. I still I didn't do that. So yeah, I'm not surprised. What I do want to say, though, is that um, I don't think that that reference, there was apparently a suicide there. Um, apparently... The lawsuit also says one particular incident where a female employee who was already subjected to intense sexual harassment at the company committed suicide during a work trip with a male supervisor who allegedly uh, brought inappropriate sexual items on a trip with them. Dude, it's fucked up, man. And, like, this woman was, was berated and, and harassed until she killed herself. I might have to cancel my World of Warcraft subscription. Honestly. I might have to cancel my subscription, bro. And it's so sad because I have an entire guild of people that like I play with and like that we depend on each other, but I might have to cancel my subscription. Because like that, you know, somebody fucking killed themselves. I don't know. It's too much, man. You guys, you know, uh, when, when we hear things like frat boy culture, we tend to diminish how bad these things were. Oh, it's a frat boy. Oh, boys will be boy. Fuck you, man. A girl killed herself because she was sexually harassed by a fucking, by her superior and felt like she couldn't do anything about it. The only reason that, if the only reason that this woman probably killed herself is because she was working in an environment that she, like, she wanted to work with games and she needed a job and she did that thing. And then her manager treated her like fucking worthless shit her supervisor, and nobody did anything about it, and then she took her own life because she felt that there was nothing else that she could have possibly done. It's fucking sad, man. Honestly, I, 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 I think I might have to just not even just stop playing WoW. I think I might have to delete my entire, my, like, my WoW, my app for this thing. It's too much, bro. Blizzard President J. Allen Brack 
uh, has emailed staff at the company addressing the recent lawsuit, calling the reported behavior completely unacceptable and pledging to discuss issues with employees to help the company move forward. Fuck you. It's one, It's too little too late. You've already been systematically shitting on the company. Why would I care about... Oh, oh, it's, it's so unacceptable. Wow, what a hot take to say that suicide is unacceptable. What a hot take to say that somebody getting bullied to the point of killing themselves is unacceptable. Wow. And pledging to discuss issues with employees to help the company move forward. What does that mean? How about... Hey, we're firing every single person that has like any type of like has these allegations against them like credible allegations against them and we're gonna we're gonna move forward by hiring people that are actually acceptable we're also going to hire our wages so that like we get people who are decent and actually want to stick with our company we're going to completely change the company culture this isn't enough of it this isn't a, this isn't a response this is a covering my ass oh it's completely unacceptable no fucking kidding extremely troubling Meeting with many of you to answer questions on how to move forward. Fuck you, dude. Somebody said that apparently after that woman took her own life, that the employees allegedly passed around the pictures of her private parts.